Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Kyle here doing a uh, bit of the TLC pay-per-view review. Um, I did say TLC, right? Okay. I'll um, so just jump right into the first match we got into was uh, Dolph Ziggler versus uh, Zack Ryder. <coughs> Excuse me for, you, not for the United States Championship. Um, <coughs> this match was okay. Um, I can't say this. Um, this is the first match um, I've seen Zack Ryder where it actually lasts longer than a minute and 12 seconds. And, uh, you know, I think Zack Ryder, to me, I think Zack Ryder's a good gimmick. He's a good character. And I do think he's a, a very, you know, entertaining, funny, ha-ha kind of guy. But like I said, just actually finally seeing him in the ring longer than a minute and 12 seconds, um, I think Zack Ryder definitely has more room for improvement when it comes to his wrestling skills. Um, Zach Ryder just seems very, um, he just seems very hyper to me, you know, when he, with his, with his wrestling techniques, it's like, he kind of, he's like, he just kind of all over the place, he just jumps here, and then you look around, he, on the other side of the ring, it's like he just hops all over the place, he's not very, uh, ring coordinated to me, um, at all, so I think Zach Ryder really needs to, um, improve more on his wrestling skills, however, um, Zach Ryder is expected, you know, for months on end, Coming and going into this match, uh, Zack Ryder ended up getting uh, the Rough Rider on Dolph Ziggler, and he's the new United States champion. And uh, I have to say, boy, Dolph Ziggler, the way he played off, you know, the way he played off in taking uh, Ryder's Rough Rider, just great stuff. Like I said, I said it before in my other Under the Microscope video series, Dolph Ziggler, best seller in WWE, and quite possibly, I think, in my opinion, in all of wrestling right now in this generation. After that, we get into a tag match with Airbone um, against Primo and Epico for the uh, tag team championships on the line. Uh, this was actually a good match, I thought. Uh, for it to not have been, you know, bailed and just a match that they just randomly just threw on the card. Um, I enjoyed this match, you know, for a little bit. It was a lot of, you know, high flying, uh, you know, high spots type of stuff. So I liked this match. It was, it was, it was good. And Primo and Epico, um, definitely a you know, potential, you know, tag team with those two guys, definitely. And also Rosa Mendez. I'm glad they put her with them, because now I can see her more. Hot chili pepper is she. After that, we get into the uh, tables match with Randy Orton versus Wade Barrett. <coughs> uh, this match was alright. Uh, not really special, but uh, Randy Orton getting, ended up getting the RKO on Wade Barrett um, through the table. Uh, well, at least halfway, you know, Barry's body, you know, his legs end up breaking the table, but, yeah. So this match was, you know, I wouldn't even say this match was alright, it was, it was nothing special, I'll just say that and leave it at that. After that, we get to match with Beth Phoenix versus Kelly Kelly. First, Kelly Kelly, my God, so hot, and then, in the whole all-gold attire, just, you know, <clears throat> I said, uh, I mentioned to my friend I was talking to earlier today that I really have not been feeling, you know, the Christmas spirit, but... Seeing Kelly Kelly in that gold outfit tonight, I think I, I think that put me in the mood for the Christmas spirit this year. I really do. But once again, nothing special here. Beth Phoenix getting the victory on Kelly Kelly. This match was a little sloppy here and there, a little sloppy spots here and there. But Beth Phoenix retaining the DB Championship. After that, get the next match is Triple H versus Kevin Nash in the Sledgehammer Ladder Match. Um, Sledgehammer Ladder Match Match. Um, I thought this match would have been probably higher up on the card considering, you know, Triple H. So I thought it would have been higher up, but surprisingly, Triple H didn't come out to a really large crowd reaction or pop when he came out. But uh, anyway, nothing, like I said, nothing special in this match. You know, that's why you have gimmick matches to hide, uh, you know, one of, if not both, wrestlers' uh, flaws. And at this stage, Triple H doesn't, you know, he doesn't have any flaws, but... Uh, Nash definitely certainly has a whole lot, you know, in his age. So that's why we have gimmick matches. Um, yeah, nothing really special. This match was just... <clears throat> um, I do have one kind of complaint, though, about this match. Um, one part where, um, Kevin Nash was doing a, uh, I think, like, a slingshot off Triple H through the ladder in the corner rope. You could actually see blankly Triple H putting his arms... Uh, between the between the steps of the ladder, and you know, 
and then Kevin Nash lifts him up. But you can blatantly see Triple H, you know, put his arms up. You know, it's like I said to myself, it's like, you know, you guys are professionals, you know, and from Triple H especially, it's like, you know, you're a ring general type guy. I would have expected you to kind of play that off a little bit better, not just blankly just put your arms up there, you know, it was just visibly, like, in your face, like, you can't miss it. But, um, yeah, Triple H ended up getting the victory um, on Nash, and during the whole match, Nash was just like, you know, Nash has bad knees anyway, and, you know, when Triple H did the figure four leg lock on Nash with his legs through the ladder, I'm like, Trip, why are you doing this? You know Nash has bad knees, and it's, left leg in particular, he's had like five surgeries on, he al he's already pretty much, you know, immobile, why even make him any more, you know, immobile than he already is, and that just, like I said, it added, it just, it just, it didn't help Nash, I'll just say that, it didn't help Nash. Um, then after they began to match <coughs> with Sheamus and Jack Swagger, um, another decent match from these two being together, uh, you know, in the ring. Um, Shane was going to reach Robo and Jack Swagger. Next match, Mark Henry versus Big Show for the World Heavyweight Championship. This match was no more than two minutes. Uh, Big Show getting the punch on Mark Henry and the pin and the win. I'm like, what the hell? Was very upset with that, but my sadness soon disappeared because my boy, Dave Bryan, uh, catches in his money in the bank, uh, briefcase on, Mark Hen on, uh, on the Big Show. Uh, after Big Show had beaten Mark Henry for the world title, and Mark Henry had uh, um, injured Big Show, making Big Show uh, vulnerable, and everyone in the arena was just chanting, Daniel Bryan, Bryan, Bryan. Bryan came, comes out, catches the money in the bank. Crowd, not that really receptive, as I would have thought, you know, of him of him winning it. But, uh, yeah, Daniel Bryan, new world heavyweight champion. Uh, that's the one and only shining spot for me in this entire pay-per-view. But, um... Darren Bryan, the World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, you know, I would have liked to. I, honestly, I would have liked to see Mark Henry at least go another month or to a month and a half with the World Championship because I think he's done a really good job. You know, he's a big monster heel as world champ. So honestly, I would love to see Mark Henry go a little bit further. Um, and I would have loved to have seen Daniel Bryan win the title at WrestleMania, even though he might go into WrestleMania as the World Champ. But I just would have liked it if you know if they would have if WWE was stuck with their original plan and. That was to, you know, have him uh, cash in at WrestleMania and win, have an official match at WrestleMania for the world title. But, you know, that's fine. You know, if they're going to drop the big show, hey, go ahead, bring in Brian, because I do not want to deal with the big show being the world champion. Next match was uh, Booker T versus Cody Rhodes for the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, I have to really say, uh, kudos, a very good spot for Cody Rhodes to have the match uh, right before the main event. Very good spot for Cody. And uh, Cody Rhodes uh, gets a successful title defense on a future Hall of Famer slash former six-time World Heavyweight Champion in Booker T. Um, so a successful title defense. Now, this was a good match, too, I thought. Uh, to me, I would probably even go... Uh, to me, I would say this was probably... This was the match of the night to me, for me, um, on the entire pay-per-view. It was Cody Rhodes versus Booker T. So good match there. Um, obviously, this feud has to continue. And then after that, we get to the main event for a Triple Threat Ladder Match for the WWE Championship, CM Punk versus Miz versus Del Rio. Um, this was a decent match, uh, better than what I thought it would have been going into it. Um, there were some spots I thought CM Punk was literally going to lose his championship where, you know, he had his, uh, when he got handcuffed towards the ladder, and then when he got handcuffed on the, uh, excuse me, on the turnbuckle, I'm like, oh my god, Punk's gonna lose the WWE Championship. I'm like, no, god, please, no. But, uh, Punk, uh, unlike John Cena, if it was John Cena, who would have probably, you know, used the Superman strength and would have just broken the handcuffs off from the turnbuckle, um, Punk somehow ended up unscrewing the turnbuckle, you know, and freeing himself. And Punk is still WWE Champion. So, all in all, TLC 2011, not a great pay per view. Uh, only shining spots, um, you know, Punk's successful to type of defense. My boy, Daniel Bryan, new World Heavyweight Champion. So I got two of my top boys as the top dogs on SmackDown and Raw. I'm like the happiest wrestling fan in the world right now, I cannot tell you. Um, and then last but not least, and then the Booker T. Cody Rose match, which was, uh, which was a, a great match. 
So TLC, uh, you know, like I said, not great, uh, but I didn't expect it anyway because this is a throwaway pay per view. Um, so now, as on tomorrow, we can. I'm looking forward to Raw, and we can uh, all now prepare for the road to WrestleMania. I'm excited for it, which I am excited for. So uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought about tonight's pay per view. Comment, subscribe. Uh, did you like it? Didn't like it? Uh, what match did, did you like? Uh, give me your thoughts about it. Comment, subscribe. Peace out.